Hey friends, Audrey here, fit, fearless, and faithful mom. If it's your first time joining me, thanks a lot. Subscribe, tap that little bell so that you get notifications of when I'm gonna be doing a video. So here's what I wanted to do today. I wanted to do a fast fact Friday. Say that three times fast. And here's what I wanted to give you some facts on. Our why have we started homeschooling. So first things first. It is my vocation. Never thought it would be. God calls you to some things that will just totally blow your mind. It is my vocation. It was not in my plans. Uh, we, Cody and I, proed and conned it for quite some time. And then when the Baton Rouge floods hit in 2016, our personal house, along with many other rental properties, took on water. We, I was also going through postpartum depression at the time, and there was just a whole lot of stuff, right? A whole lot of garbage that was going on in our life, and that's when we got hit with those spiritual two-by-fours that I had mentioned in the past, and we said everyone needs to come back home, and you know, when you follow God's will and God's plan, you feel so much more peaceful. That doesn't mean we don't have, like, tough days, but... Yeah, it's, it's my calling right now. And I really wouldn't trade it because I get to be with the kids every single day. Minus when, minus when they have play dates with people or we go somewhere, but I enjoy being with them so much. Number two is flexibility. We have the opportunity to, in the morning, get our schoolwork done, get it over with, get it knocked out. I don't have to worry about homework when they get home. We can play the rest of the day or we can put them in extracurricular activities because we don't have homework. Along with the flexibility is the ability to go on vacation when everyone else is in school. I am totally not an antisocial person. However, when it comes to going on vacation and going different places, it's really nice to go there during the off season. First, you save money and second, things aren't crowded. So we take advantage of that with family vacations. Back in December, is when we took our road trip throughout the Southwest and it was awesome because we had places like the Grand Canyon, the Four Corners, all the canyons that we went to, basically to ourselves. And the kids were able to enjoy it even more. We weren't being herded through like cattle. That's a whole separate video. Next is gifts. Because we are home, we're able to actually sit down with the kids and have them just relax and hang out. And like Kyler loves drawing and she's good at it so they can really explore their passions and things that they love and we can really enjoy them okay so number four is socialization and this is one of the biggies that I think a lot of people talk about and rightly so because everybody thinks that you're just at home the face of homeschooling has changed so much honestly I could fill from 7 in the morning until 9 o'clock at night with homeschool stuff if I really wanted to and whoops, I kind of did that the first semester of this year. Okay, with socialization, how I feel, and this is coming from a former teacher, while kids in school are, they're sitting next to each other, they, to me, they're not able to have those organic and natural conversations with their peers because they're sitting in a classroom they're told to be quiet. They're told to like sit and listen. And you have to have order. I mean, gee whiz, you have 30 kids in a class. But our kids, they're able to finish their work and then go have play dates. Like tomorrow, we're going on a park day, which is once a month. It is a set time. Like everybody knows it's park day. And in, but aside from that, last week, I met with several friends. One of my other friends' kids were over the whole day. So with the socialization, to me, it's more organic. It's more natural. The kids are able to have really good conversations with each other, use their imaginations. It's really cool. And number five is one of the biggest things, keeping our kids age appropriate. I am not by any means trying to keep my kids in a box and locked up or anything like that. But I had a conversation. She was telling me that when her son was in third grade, the kids in their class were talking about sex. Now to them, sex was something weird. I don't remember, but it had nothing to do with that. But the kids knew better. 
And they said, okay, I'm just going to hop on the internet. And they YouTubed and Googled, what is sex? How do you do sex? And they were in third and fourth grade. And I'm finding, and I'm sure you'd agree, that kids are learning things way too soon. So being age appropriate is really important to me. I don't want them knowing about sex at the age of eight or nine. And even, even, and even when they're 12, that, that should not be. So by homeschooling, again, I'm not trying to keep my kids in a box, but being at school, when they're at school for seven to eight hours, I don't know what's going on there. And I don't want to have those conversations yet. I really don't. So those are our five reasons for homeschooling. What are your reasons for homeschooling or not homeschooling? Because I know that everyone's on their own journey right now. Everyone is in a totally different spot. Let me know how I can pray for you. Have a beautiful day. God bless.